We have quite a time coming up here. A lot of weird energies. We're going to get into it from an angelic and archangelic perspective. We're going to see what's going to be going on, how it's going to affect you, and how you can tune into angelic energy to help you get through it. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Michelle with Angel Souls. I'm so happy you're here. I do weekly videos. This would technically be a reading that starts the energy around uh, August 12th, 2024, but they really are timeless. And I want to be careful with time when it comes to angelic energy because time is not linear for the angels, although they understand how our ego consciousness works. And so they give us a little bit, okay? But just keep in mind that with this type of energy and this type of reading, the timing's not absolute. What do you do with that? Well, you just realize that it could happen a little before, a little after, but mainly around the same time. So before we get into anything... If you would like to close your eyes and get ready to hear the message, of course, if you're driving or something like that, (laughs) don't close your eyes. Just, you know, when you can, do so safely. Put your hand over your heart. Take a deep breath in. And allow yourself to open a light from the heart space. This is the easiest way to access angelic frequency. Just allowing everything that has occurred through the day or anything that you might be feeling anxious about, allowing all that to fade away. And now we can invite your guardian angels to come in and be with you. Your guardian angels of God's purest love and light to come in and be with you so that as you listen to this message, you get what is personal for you and what you need to take away from all of it. All right. So now that we've done that, (laughs) and we ask Archangel Michael of God's purest love and light to shield and protect us, we're going to bring in Archangel Gabriel right off the top. Okay, right off the top. Why? First and foremost, uh, where do we begin? Gabriel's wanting to start with the sacral chakra. Okay, if you don't know where that is, it's right beneath your navel. We usually think of that chakra as vibrating with an orange color and it oversees things like creative life force, conception, manifestation. It can be money in conjunction with the root chakra, but it can also be hurts and, you know, wounding and, you know, negative stored emotions, especially around things like sexuality. This area is coming up for a lot of people who are tuning into this video And so I always say spirituality may be a starting point for you. It might be in conjunction with something more traditional like therapy if you feel like you need that, all right? But please do not treat this as the cure, okay? Like this is supposed to be in partnership with therapy. Now, the feeling around this is that I think a lot of us are releasing – some trauma, some hurt, some pain, but there's a realization that's coming behind it. And Gabriel's helping to bring this forward. So tune into that Gabriel energy right now. And yes, you can receive it. That's all right. You're fine to receive this. Uh, To see where in your body are you feeling, we call a block, or you're feeling tense, or you're feeling maybe some actual pain. Now, for a lot of you, anything that's in the lower abdomen area, if you're having some issue around there, whatever the issue is, there you go. This is actually for you specifically, okay? Now, if you're sitting there going, I don't really have anything that's that remarkable happening physically, that does not mean that this message is not for you. You still have emotions and emotional things to go through. So... Whatever is coming up in the next several days for you, and again, I'm starting this energy around August 12th, okay, but it's going to go on for about a week and a half intensely, okay, we're going to watch out for the 19th, be careful around the 19th, but we will address that, and because things are so intense right now, I will be posting this weekly, and then I will break down the message day by day. Took a little break from that for a moment, but now I'm back, okay? (laughs) I just needed to get caught up with some things before I brought that back. 
So make sure you're tuning into those as well. Gabriel is all about nurturance, communication, which we know we are in Mercury retrograde right now. So communication might be a little off, but this is feeling hurt by people's communication or being hurt by something that comes out of your mouth that you didn't mean. Hmm. Being out of line. Yeah, people being out of line. You might realize that people are giving a little bit of attitude or they're getting upset over something that they perceived that you said. What I've been experiencing, I think to me this was funny. It wasn't that serious. But like I, I'll say something to someone and they completely misunderstood what I said and they're answering a question that I didn't ask. Or <laughs> I'm confirming with someone and they start re-explaining themselves instead of just answering the original confirmation or the question. You see what I'm saying? So that could be going on. But again, that's indicative of a Mercury retrograde. This wounding, this hurt, there's this sense of opening up and realizing what has been normalized. What have we been taught we should take? What have we been taught we should accept? Now, the beauty behind this is that that realization is going to be very freeing. And it could come through the most mundane moments. I just ordered theater tickets. And I'm taking my parents to a show. I was trying to get three seats together. And this warning popped up and it said, this will leave one single seat. So I had to book in twos, in pairs. Now, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know I don't stand for that. <laughs> uh-uh. No. So what are you saying? If there's one single seat left, it would be awful for someone to have to sit there. Or, and some of you might say, well, Michelle, you're reading into that a little bit. You're somewhat right, but hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. These are booked in couples. And what is it, 1952? Newsflash, we can do things on our own. And that's okay. Sometimes it's better. <laughs> All right, so I had to, now I'm going to be sitting. I took a single seat elsewhere. So somehow other people got to do this. So I'm going to be sitting in another row. Parents will be together because I didn't have anybody to sit with, which is fine by me. <laughs> fine by me but that's the sort of thing that we're going to be experiencing in this coming week where you realize this world isn't really conducive to people being independent or it's not conducive to people being cooperative being kind there are other things coming up around this there's a lot of releasing going on yeah we're gonna talk about the earthquakes we're gonna talk about that hang tight um, because I know a lot of you are picking up on that. I can actually feel it. I feel all of you going, yeah, but you said those earthquakes. Nah, nah, nah. Well, we've been saying that for years. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I want to talk about landslides and volcanoes as well. Uh, but we'll, again, we'll get into that here in a moment. But for the sacral chakra healing, I would encourage you to take that very seriously this week to maybe wake up in the morning, do some breathing exercises around that chakra and see what comes up for you. Now, some people are big fans of journaling. Some people want to record, say it out loud, and get it out as a journal, a digital journal. You do whatever you need to do, all right? But there's something that's coming up. Don't suppress it. Oh my goodness, do not suppress this because it's going to be oof, like a backdraft. Do you know what I mean? If you don't, if you don't take care of this now, it's going to come up on the 19th and it's going to be huge. All right. So be careful with that. You're getting a moment now to contend with, to handle, to examine. Again, always make sure that you have proper support. People do care. Absolutely. I care. I'm just not a therapist. All right. So just make sure you are taking care of yourselves in that way. This would also be a good time it's weird because it's this this message of make sure you're relaxing make sure you're resting you need to be rested up 
but rest it up because you're going to be on the run. When I tell you (laughs) the amount of people that are going to have their lives completely broken open, if you're out there and you're having an affair, likely to get exposed. If you are trying to get away with something, likely to be exposed. And we are going to see this a lot with celebrities as well. So don't be too shocked if... uh, your heroes end up having some horrible story behind them and you realize they weren't the people that you were looking up to. So that's going to be going on. Let's get into those earthquakes. Um, Actually, I'm going to take off my glasses here because they're all smudgy. (laughs) They've got makeup all over them. Okay. I don't know what that just did to my face, but there we go. And I can't see you. So that may have been a bad idea. Anyway, uh, the earthquakes, more and more and more, more and more and more. Uh, that's going to become like a regular thing now. And they're being activated. And that's as far as I'm going to go with that. They are being activated. What do you imply, Michelle? I'm implying exactly what you think I'm implying. Now, Nevada is coming up. I don't know if that's related to earthquakes. Hmm. In Southern California, you guys know, and you, I lived in Southern California. I lived in Los Angeles for a few years. And the first couple of earthquakes I went through, panic. Oh my gosh. I wanted, (laughs) I tried to run out onto a balcony, which is like the worst thing to do. But after a while, we got used to it, right? And we're like, oh, it got to the point where I didn't even like get out of bed. If one happened in the middle of the night, I'm just like, Okay, let's just see how bad this is going to get. Okay, fine. I'm going to go back to sleep now. So you guys are used to this. You know what to do. I would encourage you, uh, places like Palm Springs, Palm Desert, I don't know geography around that area too well, but there could be something where, you know, there's more earthquakes around that area. But going into Nevada, probably more of what we've seen previously. I don't know if this is flooding But it feels like there's a crack in the earth that brings water up. And that's what's causing the flooding. And it could be in combination with some like weather event. There's because I'm hearing drenching. So there's I don't I haven't even looked at the weather. I know there was um, what was it Hurricane Debbie was a tropical storm Debbie. I don't know. But there's uh, probably, you know, more of that to come. So don't be too shocked with that. Uh, But yeah, I think that because I'm seeing like a splintering that will affect the Southwest of the United States. You may be sitting here, if you're watching from around the world, going, why does she always focus on the United States? Well, that's the energy I'm picking up on. I'm an American, but we're gonna get to the other places around the world here in just a moment. There's a fuzzy or something on my mic, okay. Uh, (laughs) Sorry, Uh, so rivers overflowing, overflowing because, I don't know, there's like an opening, there's like a gap. And the water is gushing. No, I don't think it's Yellowstone. I don't think it's anything like that. I don't think it's a geyser. I think it's literally, again, I don't know how this works. I'm not a scientist, but something cracking and opening and water rushing forward. So there's that part. Uh, This is going to be something kind of big. It's going to be something kind of big. Is it the big one? I hope not. I'm not going to let my energy go there. Pray for the little earthquakes. You want those. You don't want the big rocking and jolting. Uh, Japan, unfortunately, is, well, we know about the warnings that are going on there. And Stephen, shout out to Stephen in Japan. Uh, We're praying that you're always safe and always protected and always blessed. (laughs) He is a longtime viewer of this channel and he's a part of the Angel Souls family. So make sure you're putting good energy out there. And if you're watching from anywhere in the world, you're a part of the Angel Souls family as well. So leave in the comments what you would like for us to support you in, to pray on. Let's do it. You just let us know. Okay. So I, I, I do believe landslides. I want to talk about landslides. Watch around Thailand. Thailand. Um, that that whole area of the Earth. I keep hearing landslides, landslides. So that, as a human, that makes me think of like 
obviously a weather event like uh, it's cutting through rock so let me just describe what I'm seeing it looks like a mountain okay and there's a flood of water coming down the side and it's you know I'm saying like well that's a landslide not at first it's it's almost like a waterfall but it's like the water is somehow cutting through the rock or the parts that are rock I don't even know the geography of that area but let's just it's that it's somewhere in that vicinity and that's what then starts corroding um erosion you know and then now we have uh things like landslides so we need to watch out for villages and those airplane incidents we have to talk about those too no we're going to talk about those similar things probably that are happening with those airplanes <coughs> pardon me related to earthquakes and no i'm not going any further into it than that not always not always and I'm not going to sit here and get myself in trouble <laughs> talking things through. But what that means for most of you who are watching, this is energy awareness, being aware of what we're building up to, being aware of your part in all of this. Not everybody who's watching this channel is a light worker. Not everybody who's watching this channel has good intentions. Matter of fact, a lot of times people like to watch this because they like to make fun of it. Uh, they get a charge out of judging, which is so stupid because that comes back to you times 10. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so don't, right? Uh, and now's not the time to be building up bad karma. It's just not. So if you're watching this and, you know, I just posed this idea of what is our energetic contribution to all of this. If you are one of the judgmental people, your life is going to start falling apart. People are going to leave you. You are going to be exposed. People are going to see you for what you really are. Your delusional bubble is burst. And now you'll have nowhere to go. You won't even know who you are because you never crafted who you are, except for in the delusional state. Now for the light workers. Now, if you're a pure light worker, not one that like sold out, not one that, you know, is just manipulating people to get money, like... You really do have a good heart. You really want to see the best for people. You are going to be protected. Unless on your soul's contract, you are supposed to experience these things for your growth. Otherwise, you're going to, it's going to be really weird for you. Because you'll always be on the edge of what is going on. It's happening in front of you, but not to you. It's happening over there. And it's affecting you, but you're not in it. So that very much is going to be going on as well. Again, you need to reassess who gets your energy, what you're thinking about. There's a lot of darkness aggravating people. And therefore, like if you walk into a place and everyone's just in a bad mood, but usually they're good people. And maybe them being in a bad mood, everyone has a bad mood from here and, you know, here and there. But if it's like uncharacteristically often, uh, spiritually speaking, yeah, that's energy interference. Getting stressed. How many of you have experienced inflammation in your body? And this is one talk about the training that people get the brainwashing people get think about people who are overweight I'm overweight it's very much a protection mechanism and it definitely started amping up around COVID and there are so many asleep people this is going to be controversial hang on so many asleep people who will be like that's just an excuse you can stop being fat at any time. But what if fat is protecting me? And it is. You don't know my story. You know nothing about me. And what makes you think that if you are fit and thin or whatever, that somehow makes you morally superior? I don't know. See, again, it gets into this uh, brainwashing around uh, gluttony, right? Isn't that supposed to be one of the seven deadly sins? 
that sort of thing. So we're we're working away from this now. We're waking up. We're saying, no, we don't need to engage in things that tear us down. We don't need to be so self-critical. We don't need to be um, putting ourselves at the mercy of someone who has no good judgment to be telling us how we should be conducting our lives. Now, this is going to lead to a lot of disappointments. I think a lot of you are going to have breakups in friendships. Uh, do you have friendships where they're almost, it's starting to become clearer and clearer they're out to hurt you? And so they're actually an enemy that you kept close? Those are the kinds of things that are going to be rumbling and changing. We're going to be seeing people having complete falling falling out with people that they love or people that you're just used to being around every day. So let's talk about people's work situations because this is another thing that we get conditioned or just how it's not even conditioning. It's how the world is constructed. You know, you need to be a good little worker bee if you're going to be able to have a roof over your head and food in your belly. If you're going to have health care, think about that. You need to be a worker bee and put up with whatever for whatever menial salary you're going to get just so you can go to the doctor. Then you're going to be encouraged to take on debt, whether that's a mortgage or credit card debt, student loan debt. And then you'll be shamed for having that debt. People are going to be clamoring over one another. Look at social media. People clamor over one another to get more attention. And people feel quite pleased with themselves. You can tell. They're putting it out there. They feel quite pleased with themselves if they've surpassed someone else because of the numbers. Followers, subscribers, whatever. Now, what does that have to do with this message for this week? That's all crumbling down. And the bigger you are, the harder you fall. It's feeling very that, very that. The planes, they're taking me to the planes. There's going to be more of those. And actually you may, now if you're going to, okay, listen, (laughs) I'm not trying to freak everybody out. If you are going to be going on a flight, hear me say, Work with Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael for protection and smooth sailing, okay? Like whatever kind of travel you're doing, but especially air travel, not many people know that Archangel Raphael can help with that, okay? So keep that in mind, but around the world, we are going to be seeing more of these air moments, air accidents, And again, I'm not going to sit here and talk too deeply about that. No, no. What, that's not very entertaining for you? Okay. I'm not going to put myself in danger. by, And I'm not being paranoid either. Like, this is real stuff, people. Like, this is real. So just make sure you're paying attention to how you feel before you travel. If you feel like, I don't know about this, then hang back. Hang back. Figure it out. Do whatever you feel is right for you. Okay. Uh, But yeah, I think in the coming week, there are going to be quite a few things that are very shocking when it comes to like air travel. I also see like, uh, like, I think it's cruise ship, something about travel, and something just heart wrenching, um, heartbreaking. And as you guys know, I always say angels are not predictive. And what I mean by that is, you know, people would come in and they're trying to manipulate angelic energy to figure out the future for themselves. It's a very selfish endeavor. Um, It's, again, manipulative. They just want to manipulate the future or be entertained by it, be dazzled by it. They're looking for that low vibration sting that they get with other types of readings. Now, that doesn't mean that every psychic is bad. That does not mean every tarot reader is bad. I'm talking about the one, you know the type. The type that come out around Halloween, (laughs) (laughs) again, even those people are not all bad. I'm just saying, you know, there's some that um, really know how to play your emotions and, you know, get you to feel a thrill about something that's coming or to get you terrified over something. So you need their services. Well, 
No. Okay, we, we don't do that here. But what the angels will do, if it does not go against our human free will, and if it's something that would give us a heads up, a warning, get you prepared, they can give us that. Okay, that's within God's law. So what's the bottom line here? You need to be aware, just be aware. And I mean aware of your feelings, aware of your emotions, aware of how you're treating others. How are you communicating? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you working on that sacral shock where there's something there? And yes, everybody has it. Everybody has something there that needs some healing because it's like a generational thing. And I'm not talking boomers, millennials, Gen X, whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about anybody who's on this planet right now most likely has a sacral chakra wounding to contend with. All right. So there's the channeled portion of things. Now I'm going to put the glasses back on. Let's pull some cards. And like I said, I will do a daily breakdown as well. All right. Oh, got one card coming out, two of Michael. You're going to be split between dimensions. I'm not trying to sound dramatic when I say that or like a sci-fi movie, but uh, what you know to be true on a soul level versus what you're being told out in the world, what you're being told you're supposed to know and how you're supposed to react. So this is two of Michael. It will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem find a compromise so yeah i guess in the more like 3d realm way this could be overthinking something or being paranoid okay so the things that i say here they're not meant to make you paranoid they're meant to make you think so don't go too far with that if you would like a personal reading with me you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com please pay attention to the wait time okay I have some new viewers here, so people are not really familiar with how things go. Uh, I'm one person and all the readings are done by me. I don't hire, I, I don't understand doing that. Um, if you're coming here, you want me to read for you, right? So <laughs> like, there, there will be uh, a little bit of a wait time. It's not terrible, but it's not going to be quick gratification kind of thing here, all right? You can get an AI reading if you want something like that feel me all right live readings we'll have to see you you're free to email me and see if there's any way i can get you in in the next week or two i it's tight okay so you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com otherwise just book the regular standard session at my website angelsouls444.com make sure you're checking out my gumroad channel there's a podcast. All of that stuff is in the description box. Okay. So the next card out we have for this coming time, and I want to say 10. I'm seeing the number 10. So 10 days, taking us to the 22nd, to the 23rd. We have eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Look at this. <laughs> it's like I'm feeling... I'm feeling torn between what I know and what I'm being told. And I don't know what to believe. That's what this very much feels like. And you have always chosen up until now to believe what you were told. Now, you knew something was off about that. You knew there had to be more to the story. But it's only just now that you're starting to accept that you can, in fact, be free. Now, this isn't to then just be like this crazy person out there doing whatever the heck you feel like doing, not worried about anybody else's feelings. We're not encouraging that, right? But this is being in your head and breaking free from the conditioning. I talk about that and have been talking about that for years. Nine of Ariel, your dreams are fulfilled. Once you understand this, things start to open up for you. And that doesn't mean that overnight you get your dream job or that dream love partner, or lots of money, although it is Ariel. Might get a little, might get a little coin, maybe. <laughs> but this is more about realizing, being happy because you are spiritually fulfilled. And then that starts to have this ripple effect out into the material realm for you as well. Your dreams are fulfilled. 
Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. I wouldn't say hard work. Um, I didn't write this deck, so I wouldn't say hard work. I would say realizing that what was always there, your truest nature, your spiritual nature is your true source of happiness. It is the thing, the space that you can create from. Mm. Okay. We'll get into the Magdalene Oracle here as well. This is the number five. So I'm telling you, in the next 10 days, there's going to be such massive change. It could be this city is here one minute, it's gone the next. Wiped out. Flooding. There's lots of flooding. Louisiana, watch out. Houston, watch out. Maybe Las Vegas again or somewhere in Nevada, there's some bit of flooding. Yeah. I keep hearing turnover, like lots of turnover, like things being turned over. Um, it's sort of like Jesus in the temple flipping the tables. So these things, I'm not saying that Jesus is coming and causing destruction on the earth. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this is more of the earth Gaia energy saying enough, you know, enough. We're going to wake you up this way. You're going to find out maybe the hard way. And that. <laughs> it, it think about it you don't have anybody who really cares at least in my estimation and what I've experienced and let me know if you experience the same thing I don't come across too many people who care about what I have to say I mean some of you and thank you thank you for being here I'm saying in my life day-to-day -day life I get spoken over I get interrupted I get diminished and then there's this conditioning that says maturity equals being the bigger person. Being spiritually advanced equates to being the bigger person. And so I don't ever call these people out on that behavior. I just disconnect, a very Scorpio thing to do. I disconnect and I let them do their thing and let them just sit in it. Because a lot of times what I had to say was going to save them a lot of headache or it was going to be very supportive of them, but they wouldn't even shut up long enough <laughs> to like receive the love, receive the support. And so it's not like I'm withholding it. Just you're not in a space to accept it. So I'm going to hold back. Okay. Now, I think a lot of you out there, you're going to realize too, where your voice has not been heard where you've not been allowed to have a perspective do you have the people who play devil's advocate there's another perfect example of something that needs to change this idea that playing devil's advocate is making you a big person like you're fair you're open-minded you can see two sides of the a friend to many is a friend to none people who are making excuses for bad behavior just so you seem like a good person exposed it's all coming out it's all coming out so divine guidance archangel sandalfin who also helps with the chakra system so there's a lot of that we need to recharge and get ready for what's coming here because there are going to be things that we're going to have to handle the search for meaning in life okay so going towards something that's more meaningful consider an alternative approach surround yourself with wise teachers or friends you're realizing the value of that deep wisdom, you're going to tap into it, you're going to allow it to come up to the surface, and you're not going to be taking this egotistical standpoint. And I guys, I've been doing readings for a very long time. And inevitably, there will be someone who comes in and says, I know I have so many gifts that the world needs. And I just I'm just so advanced. <laughs> and I I'm just so much better. Like I could do my own reading, but I just, you know, I saw you and I just thought you might give me a different perspective. So that's what I'm here for. I don't know what to tell those people because they don't even know what's coming for them. Because one of the worst things you can do is be fake spiritual. It's not a game to play. It's just not a game to play. Let's get into the Magdalene Oracle here. <sighs> yeah, there's an unsettled feeling coming up for sure. And it's 
what is happening in the world? What what do we need to do with this? And again, we've been talking about this, making sure that you are clearing out your your emotional center and you can clear out the heart space as well. It's also where we store emotions everywhere uh, in our bodies, but those are the big energetic centers. All right, purgatory. Ooh, talk about being stuck in between worlds. Look at this. Like, you're not going to feel resolved <laughs> this week. It is going to be that weird place of in-between. It's going to be like, I feel things are changing, but I don't know how to move forward. I don't have that playbook in front of me, you know? And surrender. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about this. What is done is done, is what they're saying. And so they're giving you the advice here. So if you are getting hung up on a relationship, which we do, friendships, money issues, the job, the this, the that, the house, you know, the dog, calm down, okay? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm mostly saying that to myself because I would be the one who's probably mostly freaking out. But it's okay to surrender to this and making sure that you're just taking care of yourself as things come up, you're allowing yourself to handle them and lay in low. There is a message here to lay low. So we're going to leave the weekly portion here. I'm going to start filming the dailies. Make sure you're looking out for those. And of course, leave your comments down below. I am, as always, sending you guys love. Be safe. Take care.